It began with a vision, a vision of world-class hands gracing the keys in Orlando. And for Ellen Hamilton, founder of the Florida International Piano Competition, this vision has finally become a reality, with the competition set to take place next month. The talent and the judges are just top-notch, so we're going to have a wonderful experience. 22 of the most talented pianists from all across the world travel thousands of miles just for a chance to tickle the ivories up on this stage at the Tiki Hall. Pianists will be competing for sizable cash prizes, a $20,000 first prize, $12,000 second prize, and $8,000 third prize, along with prestigious performance engagements for the top three. In piano circles across the globe, winning such a high dollar competition isn't just about the money. It can also give a leg up to a pianist's career. And one thing's for sure, it will definitely showcase Orlando. On a cultural level, it's going to put the spotlight on Orlando, uh, especially internationally because of the caliber of talent coming from all over the world. As a pianist herself, Hamilton has been a big supporter of Central Florida Arts, but her vision for this competition began in England three years ago, where she was studying for her master's in musicology at Leeds University. There she had a chance to attend the Leeds International Piano Competition, one of the top five piano competitions in the world. It was just so, it was like the American Idol of, you know, piano to see that. So that's my goal to bring that quality here to Orlando and to strive for that excellence. But she hasn't been alone in her quest to bring that excellence here. Someone else playing a vital role is Laurent Bukapsa, Chair of Piano Studies at the University of Central Florida. Bukapsa will serve as the Artistic Director for the International Piano Competition and will also be one of its seven judges. I, I don't have the expertise or the talent to know what to look for. You have to have someone who's experienced it, he's been in competitions, He's a fantastic piano, pianist himself. Bukapsa is himself internationally acclaimed in the piano world. He holds numerous prizes from multiple international competitions in France, Italy, Bulgaria, and Romania. He was also named as a Steinway Performing Artist, considered to be a significant honor in music circles. I've been a contestant, I've been a judge, and now being able to, artistically speaking, run a competition is very interesting. As the competition's artistic director, he has had the tough job of narrowing down 47 applicants to just 22, watching each one's entry on DVD. They submit DVDs. Uh, they have uh, the repertoire that they're going to play, if they're invited, that they were going to play here, so the exact same first round. And they have to, take, they, they have to do that in one take. It means that uh, no editings are allowed. And I can tell you that the 22 candidates we're bringing are just Amazing. I mean, that's one of the best piano playing I've heard in a long time. The 22 candidates come from 11 countries around the world, with five from Korea and four from Ukraine. Three represent the United States. But after four nights of first and semifinal rounds in Tiki Hall at Rollins College, that 22 turns into three, who will take the stage at the Bob Carr Performing Arts Center for the final round, where they perform accompanied by Winter Park's Bach Festival Orchestra. Like, so for the audience, I think it's gonna be fantastic because they're gonna hear artists, people who express deep feelings who are t trying to tell us something through the instrument. And that's not that often. As one of the judges, Bukapsa says he'll be looking for that little extra. I don't want to hear a pianist. I want to hear an artist. I want to hear somebody that's going to make us dream when they play. For the first time ever, Orlando is the canvas for those dreams and for Hamilton's vision of bringing a world-class competition to Orlando. That's just a taste of the Arts Connection. You can catch more great stories like this at the Arts Connection website at wmfe.org slash arts and see new episodes every Thursday night at 8 on WMFE TV. Thanks for watching.